Hey everyone, HHO for all here again. I uh, just want to show you a revision on this washer fuel cell. Um, this time around, I wanted to play around with it just a little bit more to see if I couldn't get a little more uh, even output on it because before I was just getting like three streams, which it wasn't bad. There was decent output, but uh, it I want a little more even output coming across the plates. And so anyway, this time around, I've got 10 2-inch washers all the way across the stack. And then on the outside, I've got one and a quarter inch um, because the holes on the 2-inch washers are just, uh, I think they're like 3 8 inch holes. So the bolt almost pretty much just slips through it. So this way I was able to secure it and um, give me a much better connection. And then on the center here, I don't know how well it's going to show up on this video. It looks okay on the viewer, but I can't tell. Um, I had to put a couple washers in the middle here um, to connect a one and one quarter inch washer to another one and one quarter inch washer. So that way I get um, even current going across the stack because the center is the positive and uh, it forces it across the stack. Um, actually for this test, um, for this configuration, I've actually swapped it around where I've got the positive on the ends and a negative on the center. And um, so anyway, this is the new setup and I'm going to put it into uh, a real ghetto container real quick and just show you guys some output that I'm getting off of this thing. I'm just doing this for fun. This isn't serious. I'm probably never going to turn this into a fuel cell to put in a car, but it's just for experimentation because I wanted to see if I could do it. And I had the spare parts floating around, so I uh, thought, what the hell, why not? Anyway, I'm going to pause this, put it in the container, and show you the output. All right, here we go. So this is my uh, ghetto container here, a uh, two-liter bottle that I cut the top off of. Just didn't have any containers that were tall enough, so that way you guys could see the bubbles coming off of the cell and up to the surface of the water. Um, the 4x4 PVC box I have just isn't going to cut it for that. So anyway, let me flip the switch and show you guys what I've got here. Whoa. Okay. Let the water clear real quick so I can show you guys this again. Check it out. Here we go again. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. One more time. One more time. There we go. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, you know, I, I probably won't ever put this into a, an actual fuel cell that I put in the car. Um, just because I was just playing around with it. You know, experimenting. And I, I'm kind of beyond the wet cell thing, you know, but because I'm, I'm really focusing my efforts on dry cells now. But, you know, like I said in a previous video, I'll probably come up with some sort of a uh, dry cell concept for this and see how that works. And also, um, right now, it's at about 7 amps. I had this thing running for about a solid hour before I did the video and it made it up to about 10 amps but never went above that and the connectors they were a little bit warm but they weren't hot so that's that this has been HHO for all I'm out of here